Weather Authority forecast. Well, good evening, everybody. We've still got a couple of clouds out there right now. Some of those cumulus clouds, those popcorn clouds. And this one right here in particular does look a little dark gray, but it really does not look to me like a rain cloud. It's, first of all, still pretty flat. We usually look for vertical development. That is tall clouds out there to see whether or not they pick up any rain chances. But this one looks fairly flat out there and also doesn't really look like it's growing in size or really moving too quickly. But it does indicate that there is a fair amount of humidity out there in the mid parts of the atmosphere where these clouds are showing up. So great news there. It looks like we've got at least enough humidity to start turning our conditions around and should make for a beautiful sunset as well. We've got enough blue sky out there to really accentuate those sunset colors as well as those clouds out there to start reflecting some of those golds and reds and pinks. Very, very cool to look at, at least should be here in the next couple of hours. Thanks to Roofs by Nicholas, though. Very good look outside at those conditions. And switching over here to our satellite and radar, you can see that our skies are mostly clear throughout most of the Lone Star State. Now, there is a little bit of rain popping up once again through those higher elevations, like around the Marfa Plateau and parts of the Van Horn Mountains. But these uh, rain showers and thunderstorms are really not very powerful at all. Once again, we're just looking at regular old rainfall out there. So great news. A couple of lightning strikes in there mean it's technically thunderstorm activity that we're watching here, but we're really not concerned with any kind of hail chances or damaging winds or any other severe weather effects, though we could see some strong wind gusts generated by one or two of these cells and a couple of lightning strikes, which can be hazardous in itself. But so far, no flood advisories or any flooding concerns right now, so great news there. And more good news, we got a new update to our drought monitor. It shows off a lot of improvements, especially south of I-10, where our drought has been downgraded from the exceptional category in deep red, the highest on the drought monitor scale, down one category to the extreme drought, which still means we've got a lot of room for improvement. But hey, it's an improvement, and that is great news. We've still got a couple of patches of exceptional drought in deep red across parts of the basin in southeast New Mexico. So still a lot more rain would be useful to help you, helping out with that drought. Now temperatures tomorrow are going to be backing down into the mid-70s and we'll see mostly sunny skies to go along with that. But those winds will start picking up as we head into the afternoon time. And we may even see some rain chances picking up in the afternoon time as well. This time, it looks like they're going to be right in the same spot that those rain chances have been all week, right around the Marfa Plateau and the Van Horn Mountains. Some, uh, some of those showers could bleed over into the northern uh, Trans-Pecos, but for the most part, it's going to be staying away from the basin. Any rain that we do catch tomorrow is likely to move out by about sunset, so I don't expect much in the way of severe potential at all. Nothing in the way of intensity, but we could see enough rain to possibly initiate some flooding concerns. So keep it here to Big Two News. We'll keep you posted on that. Either way, temperatures will be up into the upper 80s by 12 noon, but highs only land in the mid 90s. So we're actually going to be cooling down tomorrow, so great news there, but wind speeds really are going to start ramping up. We'll be picking up to about 10-15 miles per hour in the morning time, but about 15-20 by the time we head into the afternoon. So hold on to your hats out there. It is going to be breezy. But switching over here to our seven-day forecast, you can see that temperatures do cooperate. We cool down to 95 tomorrow, 97 on Saturday, and then back up to 100 degrees on Sunday. Wind speeds will be about 15, 20 tomorrow, but about 15, uh, 20, 25 on Saturday. So fairly breezy out there by West Texas standards. And we'll pick up a couple of clouds, hopefully to help out with some of that heat. But after that, Sunday into Monday, it is all sunny skies there on out. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're a big fan of this heat. Yes. Yeah, so I get cold easily. So okay. that's why. But I, I'll take anything. A breeze. <laughs> there once you go. In a little a bit of cloud. A little cover, bit of cloud. A little rain. The, we need the rain, though. So yes. let's bring that in. Yeah, yeah we'll do what we can. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Chase. Thanks.